Learn to forgive. Um, this may seem a bit of an odd one, but the reality is it's nothing about the actual forgiveness. Um, for me, it's about realizing people waste your time. Um, years ago, I was driving a transit van. It was quite, it was quite a large van, it was long wheelbase, high top, and I'm at a petrol station. There's four pumps, and basically this thing is, they're quite narrow pumps, so I had to go into the middle and take all four pumps up. Um, you could go on either side, but there was other cars there. I took the whole middle up. And I remember doing it, and this guy in his Jaguar coming, yelling, and it's like, look at this guy, he's taking up all the pumps, and blah, blah, you know, he's yelling, and I just I just blanked him, went and paid for my fuel, come back, and his, his mother was with him, <laughs> arguing with my ex at the time, uh, about, look how much space I'm taking up. Now, bear in mind, I would have taken the pumps off, um, literally after I ripped the pump off, it would actually moved over. At the same time, if I'm on one side or the other, it doesn't matter, you can't put a car alongside it. So, I come out and this guy's ranting and he's pointing at me and all this stuff. And his mother is saying, oh look, you, you blocked all the pumps. And I said, I'll just ask you one thing. I says, if I moved over, and you pulled up alongside me, could you open your door? You know, you need to get out to fuel your car. Could you do that? And she just went, well, no. There you go then. I just hopped in and drove off. Um, reality is, I would have annoyed that guy all day. Um, did he bother me? The answer is no. Um, for me, it was quite amusing, because the fact is the guy assumed that he was so important that he could jump the queue or I'm going to move this vehicle out his way because he's a priority uh, when the reality is he's just some um, try not to swear just a person with an issue um, and there's lots of them that's why I say forgiveness is a good thing because you don't get bothered by it you know my car in Spain my back light got smashed recently don't know who did it come out come out of the school, look at it, glass broken. Do I get annoyed? The answer is no. Um, got a new light down here, I'm taking back to Spain. What, why don't I get annoyed? It's all smashed up. Because it doesn't matter. What, why should I really let it ruin my day? It's not gonna make the light reappear. There's nobody parked there that was um, gonna help me. He's not there with the money going here, I'm sorry. He's not there arguing with me or anything. They're gone. So should I let it ruin my day or should I just go, okay, fair enough, and take it on the chin and just go, okay, it's just one of those things. Forgiveness works quite well in that way because your mind is then focused on stuff you can do. Um, I mean, even on politics, because I find politics interesting for my own amusement, but people think I walk away sometimes. It's not that I'm busy. Um, you probably see I'm quite tired at the moment. I'm working a stupid amount of hours. I've got a lot of paperwork I'm busy doing. Um, but the, the reality is, I was looking at this, um, about this ISIS thing. So I'm trying to get people to understand that you need to look at the bigger picture because we're often sold a little bit of information. Um, and I'm not trying to get into the debate on who's right, who's wrong, what's this, what's that, because I don't have all the information. The whole point I'm asking is people just have a think before they start going, all oh, Muslims are bad or whatever. Have a think about it, you know, because the reality is a lot of this is manipulated and done on purpose. It's not by accident. So, just started going, I ended up in a conversation for two hours today about it, and then I'm like, okay, I'm stopping now because I've got paperwork to do. And that's me. A lot of this stuff, I don't get angry about it, I switch off to it. Um, in the Philippines, I used to find people try to, like, try and give you little snippets and trying to pull you into these little arguments of nonsense. Um, because they're quite angry about it. I'm generally not bothered these days. I'm not bothered about ISIS and whatever. Uh, I think it's too complicated to even make an assessment. 
because there's problems everywhere. It's probably, you know, it's hard to put a, um, it's hard to take that much of an interest. Uh, I think that's the easiest way of putting it because what are you going to do to fix it? Um, it's like the UK government. It's riddled with corruption. Uh, another scandal today with somebody involved with drugs with prostitutes in the uh, government. It's normal. They think they can get away with it. I mean, the, the only reason he's a problem now is because he was put in charge to raise the standards. How humorous is that? Does it bother me? Answer is no. Not unless you're actually going to overthrow the government and get rid of them all. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It's not going to have a positive or negative impact on your life whatsoever. And that's why forgiveness is important, because you just wipe the slate. And although forgiveness may seem a bit odd with that, it's, it's how I deal with it. Um, I call it forgiveness. People might just say taking no interest. <laughs> um, but the reality is it makes life so much easier. Um, and also you can get more focus on positive stuff that actually can help. Um, get you in the right direction or get you where you want to be. Alright, thanks for watching.